Welcome to the Festo CMMT How-To Series. My name is David Thomas and I'm a mechatronic technology engineer at Festo North America. Today's video will show how to adjust Excel and Vcell on a CMMT servo drive from an Allen Bradley PLC using Festo's point-to-point -point AOIs. Before we get started, let's take a look at the software that we will be using in today's video. Allen Bradley Studio 5000 version 34, Festo Automation Suite version 2.7, Festo CMMTAS plugin version 2.7, and Festo's Rockwell AOIs version 2.5.1. The Festo software can be downloaded at festo.com forward slash USA. The most common operating mode when using the Festo AOIs with an Allen Bradley PLC is the MDI or Direct Mode Move. MDI stands for Manual Data Input and allows the individual motion parameters like target position, target velocity, acceleration, and deceleration to be sent for each individual move in the sequence. There are two MDI moves that can be specified through the Festo AOI. The first is requested by setting mode pause to one, which will specify the next move as a relative move. The second is requested by setting mode pause to two, which will specify the next move as an absolute move. When making an MDI or direct mode move, the Festo AOI offers two inputs to adjust acceleration and deceleration. Over Excel is set to a value of zero to 100 and is the percentage of the base value of acceleration specified in the Festo Automation Suite. Likewise, over decel is the set to a value of 0 to 100, and is the percentage of the base value of deceleration specified in Festo Automation Suite. Let's take a look at those base value acceleration and deceleration parameters specified in Festo Automation Suite. The parameters can be found by navigation under the Parameterization tab to the Telegram page located under Profiles and Profi Drive. On this page, you can see the specified Telegram, which is Telegram 111. This Telegram is of type AC3 and is utilized when doing point-to-point -point moves with the CMMT servos. In order to locate the acceleration and deceleration parameters for this type move, we need to look at the column labeled Profile AC3, and the parameters that have a check mark beside them are the parameters used during a point-to-point -point MDI or direct mode move. Here you can see the base value acceleration and deceleration parameters are set to 10 meters per second square. These values can be changed based on the application and can be as high as 50 meters per second square for some tooth belt applications while the ball screw actuators are usually limited to a maximum of 15 meters per second squared. Let's review the trace configuration settings in the Festo Automation Suite. The trace settings can be found under the Diagnostics tab and the Trace Configuration page. As you can see here, I have created four trace channels including actual position, actual velocity, acceleration MDI, and deceleration MDI. Acceleration MDI and deceleration MDI is the calculated result of multiplying the over Excel or over decel percentage values entered by the user in the Festo AOI inputs with the base value acceleration or base value deceleration specified in Festo Automation Suite. Finally, I have created a trigger that will start the trace when there is a rising edge in the execute mode bit in the Festo AOI. Now let's transition back to Studio 5000 and make a test move through the Festo AOI. In order to make an absolute move, we need to specify the target position, target velocity, over acceleration percentage, and over deceleration percentage. For this move, we want to make sure that mode pause is set to 2 for an absolute move. I'm going to enter 250,000 in the target position input and this stands for 250.000 millimeters. For more information, look for a future video on factor groups. I'm gonna enter 500 millimeters per second for velocity, and I'm gonna keep over acceleration and over deceleration percentage set to 100%. Now I'm gonna give a rising edge to execute mode. Now if we go to the trace display page, 
we can see the trace that was created. Notice it's a trapezoidal shape. And if I use the marker, you can see here in the red box that I'm running 10 meters per second squared of Excel. And I reached roughly 500 millimeters per second. And then on D cell, you'll see the same in the green box, 10 meters per second squared. So now let's go set up a second move so that we can look at uh, changing those over Excel and over D cell values. For this trace, we're going to set up another manual move and we're going to use 250,000 microns, 500 millimeters per second. And then we're going to set over Excel to 10 and over D cell to 10. And we're going to make that move and take a look at the graph. We're going to give a rising edge on execute mode. And then we're going to transition. So now you can see we have more of a triangular shaped wave profile for our move. And if you look at the red box on the graph with the marker, you'll see we're running at about one meter per second squared. We do reach roughly 500 millimeters per second. And then on the D cell, you can see we have uh, one meter per second squared. Now let's take a look at the two traces again. You can see on the first trace that acceleration and deceleration values were set to 10 meters per second squared by specifying 100% in the over Excel and over D cell inputs on the Festo AOI. And this created a trapezoidal motion profile. In the second trace, the acceleration deceleration values were set to one meter per second squared by specifying 10% in the over Excel and over D cell inputs on the Festo AOI. And this created a triangle motion profile due to less slope on the actual velocity trace. Thanks for watching and check out our other videos on the Festo North American YouTube channel.